So I was like, <laughs> I was like, why are these land all these landlords here? And then I was like, it's a Jewish hood. <laughs> I'm like, they're not landlords, man. They they live here. <laughs> all right, so. In today's video, we're going to talk about what women need to understand about guys. And also some of the some misunderstanding that women have that causes a, a gap in the relationships between men and women. Because the reason, why we have, the reason why we have a misunderstanding is because of the roles that we play. For example, there are a lot of things that you just will not understand if you are a child. I suppose it's if you are a parent. There's a lot of things you will not understand if you are an employee. I suppose if you are an employer. Like, like for example, it's kind of like when you become a t when you become a teacher, you see why you need to give homework. When you become a parent, you see why you need to punish. So different roles allows you to see the different perspectives of those people. So it's not that there there are differences, even though they are, but it's more about the roles that we play. The women are the receiver, men are the aggressors. I mean, the the ones that that go for it. So in that, in of itself, it develops a certain mentality that has a certain viewpoint and certain reactions based on those viewpoints. So the problem is that because of lack of self-awareness, because we're so consumed with our roles, because it's based on our gender, and gender is the first role we take when we're children, all right, we have a misunderstanding. We can't see through those veils. So I'm going to show you guys some of the misunderstandings that you women have that causes, a, that causes a ripple in the relationships you guys have with men, all right? So let's get started. The first thing you guys got to realize is that there is there's two types of guys. No, there are two people inside a guy. One is his head. The other one is his dick. By the way, as you watch this video, become aware of your breath. Notice your breath, right? And just keep some peripheral awareness on the breath as you watch this video. The dickhead, right? Those two people are completely different people. Why? I call them... <laughs> I'm not going there. But this is the thing. It's because when you... Look, when you want to have sex with a girl, right? Let me, let me lower the voice, all right? Let me, me, me and you guys, all right? When you want to have sex with a girl... Sometimes the desire to have sex with her consumes you, and it kind of, it kind of like your brain fools you into telling you, "Hey, bro, you actually like her," you know? Like you think you really like the girl, but in reality, you just want to have sex. And so, because of because of your desire to have sex with her, your brain will make anything that she says cool. You know, it's kind of like you know, with guys, some guys that you just like them because you like them. Everything, everything he says is funny. You know, a lot of guys are not that funny. You just, you just like them, and so as a result, anything they say is funny. Because I'm not that funny. Trust me, I know. So that's one thing is that guys would think they like you, but in reality, they just want to have sex with you. And, and it's something that even they, are, even they become victim of their own dicks because after they're done with you, not done with you, but you know what I'm talking about. After, after you guys are done having sex, he'll look at himself and he's like, oh, fuck, oh, my, uh, uh, like the, the, suddenly it's kind of like you like her and suddenly you don't, you know, and it's kind of like food. <laughs> you know when you're really hungry you want food right anything looks tasty but as soon as you eat suddenly you don't want to have food anymore you don't want to see food anymore maybe a dessert but as soon as you're done if food is not as attractive that's the same thing that happens with women where we will want oh wait a minute she looks cool where we'll want no where, <laughs> where we'll want them right and we want them so badly that it distorts our perception of them so that's what tends to happen so and that's what happens when 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 the guy's aroused he'll want the woman and so it'll call, his brain will say, we need to get her at any means necessary. So if it means fooling him, that's what we're going to do. So your dick motivates your actions. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, we're having 40% off all of our courses using the coupon code MINDFUL. And we're having 10% um, off all of my coaching calls. Um, it'll end by the end of the year. So if you, gotta, if you guys want to get a call with me or purchase any of my courses, Nice Girl, The Psychological Game of Attraction, click on the description down below and use the coupon code uh, mindful for 40% off. You see a lot of great things have been have been done through through the through through the through the motivations of your dick. The dick dicks are the best self-help gurus in the world, man. They, they motivate you. They always tell you you could do it. Anyways, that's the first thing. So when a guy does that to you and you notice that he has sex with you and, and you get mad at that because he loses interest, you gotta realize that also the guys, most guys are we're victims to our dicks, man. Like, we just can't help it. Like, I wish it was different. I wish the girl was as awesome as I perceive her when I want her. But that's not the case. Like, you're being, your perception is being enhanced because the body needs to procreate and he needs to fool you to do that shit, asshole. Like, that shit leaves you in very awkward situations. <laughs> so, the second thing is, guys want to, guys will appreciate the women that friend zone them a lot more than the women that they actively know like them. I'm telling you, there's been, I believe that guys will have suffered a lot more from being friend zoned than anything else. 
if you friend zone a guy and you make him think like he overcame the friend zone, which if you are a woman and you try that shit on me, I swear to God, I'm gonna lose interest. I'm I'm not at that point where I'm, I'm down for these games. So if you're watching this and you're taking notes, don't even try it. Please don't. <laughs> but seriously though, hey, don't don't let all of your attention be absorbed by the video. Notice the breath. So that's one thing is that you got a friend zone though. If you don't, and, and, and okay, and, and it's. I gotta be careful where I go here because then you guys are gonna be trying that shit and I'm gonna be fucking myself over and every guy over and also yourselves over because it's not the case in every situation. But you want to at least give them the illusion that you don't know what you're looking for. That I don't know, let's like, 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 like kind of like saying, let's be friends, but you put them in situations that friends usually are not in. Like, for example, it's kind of like, let's just be friends, but you wanna come over and hang out? You wanna know what's gonna happen? The guy's gonna say, Yeah, let's go over and hang out. And he's like, Yeah, maybe when I come over, maybe I can make a move on her. Now suddenly he's not saying, Yeah, we're going out on a date. Now we're friends, but there's a chance, there's an opening. You see what I'm saying? So in his mind, he's gonna you're gonna make him think like he he, he overcame your resistance when in reality there was no resistance. It was just a smoke screen to make him invest more in you. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you gotta put him in the friend zone, you know? Some people right there the Hey, hey, what's up? Don't, 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 don't kill me. <laughs> nah, nah, just making a video. Um, all right, the, second, the, the third one. As soon as we feel we got you, we lose interest, and that's what you got a friend zone. That's the third one. When a guy feel, and then you do that too, girl. You girls do that too, right? As soon as we feel like we have the girl, we lose interest, and that's something that you have to know that. Keep that in mind. Don't resent those facts. Keep that in mind. And play the game accordingly. Know the facts and play the game accordingly. Sometimes we neglect to relieve the facts because we say, I believe that the world is different. I cannot believe that the world is just superficial. But it is. So you got to play to the crowd. Play to the rules. All right? The fourth one. Don't tell us about what you, who you've been with. Don't tell guys who you've been with. Fuck honesty. All right? In this case, you don't want to be honest about everything. All right? You don't want to keep that real. That's when keeping the real goes wrong. This is called selective honesty. Most guys are too insecure to find out how many young men you've been, you have sex with. So it's a lot better to lie. I'm telling you, ignorance is bliss, especially to the insecure people. You have to, you cannot be honest about that. Guys are too insecure to let, to let that shit slide, man. Like, you got to make them think like you've you never done anything. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and this goes with this next point. Hey, I hope you have not forgotten to notice your breath. Is that if you're a freak, you got to hide that shit. You got to let him find out on his own. Or even better, yeah. You got to let him see little hints of freakiness. You don't want to be so overtly obvious about the inner freak you have. Right? You want to be overt. For example, <laughs> you want to be that girl that, that when a guy says, so, so um, what, do you, what do you do for fun? You so like, what do I do for fun? <laughs> oh, I don't know. You see, like, you don't overtly say what you do for fun. But you... But you're insinuating that it's something forbidden. See, you want you want to you want to suppress the sexuality, not not be afraid to show it, but suppress it, not out of fear, but out of understanding. Buy some spirituality. Turn your life into a spiritual practice. All right. And if you want to do that, you guys can attend my meditation meetups on on Sundays. We're doing it in two weeks. Two or three weeks from now, you guys can DM me on Instagram or purchase the tickets on the description down below or just message me on WhatsApp and I'll give you guys all the information. And um, Or become Patreon supporters where you guys can get the content and join the monthly Zoom meetings for only the Patreon gang, all right? Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, ladies, so I want you guys to check out my course, Natural Chemistry. It's a course that I, te that I created specifically for women who are in relationship the psychological game of attraction is for women who are single. This is for a relationship. It's a five-week course where I take, where I teach you everything that you need in order to create a bond with a guy and maintain the bond with a guy, right? So it's a five-week course where the first week we teach about um, creating and maintaining deep connection. We talk about the second week about male nature. And I'll give you guys homeworks based, you know, each week you get new homework. Third week we talk about controlling your emotions when in love. Fourth week, setting boundaries, because when you love someone, it's hard to set boundaries. And the fifth week is embracing your masculine and your feminine so that so that guys can see your complete personality, right? And a bunch of bonuses that, that you can see here. And if you want to get a preview, just go to just click on the description down below where it says Natural Chemistry, and you can watch the free videos. I have free videos that you just like to get a preview of it, right? And you even get my audio book. I have an audio book called The Chase, so you even get that as a bonus, right? And, and all of these bonuses 
are part of the two hundred dollar bonus, right? That is, it's because I have different um, ranks, so that you get all of the bonus for, bonuses for two hundred. But if you want the raw main material, is for ninety seven dollars, right? Um, so yeah, and let me show you what the people are saying. Um, amazing! I love the way Alex teaches, so raw and real. I have watched most of his YouTube. This course brings them all together in a package that not only helps me remember what I have watched, but also entertaining as hell. In other words, you get everything in one place because I know a lot of you people have watched so many videos, but because you watch so many videos, you don't know what to apply, right? This person says these tactics are useful and I believe that they should be used, especially if you have good intentions, meaning you want to create a strong bond and long lasting bond. I feel like it's for the greater good. What, what they're trying to say is that this course could be used for evil shit. And, and that's a fact. And I hope that you guys don't use it for that. Because that's like that type of power. It has some like some dark magical powers, to be honest with you. Um, so check it out. 30 Dead Money Bad Guarantee if you don't like it. Go check it out. If you just watch, the, there's a free video there that you, could, that you guys can check out, like as you can see here. Um, and if you guys don't like it, don't buy it. And if you guys want to check it out, money, 30 Dead Money Bad Guarantee. I always give money back, okay? All right, I'll see you guys inside. Click in the description down below where it says purchase natural chemistry.